Hi there. Welcome to Lost in Literature. And today I'm very excited about the poem I'm planning to do. It's Sarojini Naidu's uh, The Bangle Sellers. Uh, I don't have to tell you anything about Sarojini Naidu. However, um, she was uh, um, a political activist during the pre-independence days and uh, she was a very important figure in the in the um, fight in the struggle for independence from the British. Uh, she wrote a lot of poetry too showcasing um, the cultural heritage of India and this is one such poem which uh, talks about the essence of Indian womanhood. All right, let me start without further ado. Um, Bangle sellers are we who bear our shining loads to the temple fair. Who will buy these delicate, bright, rainbow-tinted circles of light, lustrous tokens of radiant lives for happy daughters and happy wives? In the opening stanza, um, um, we get an idea of um, who the poem is coming from. The speakers here are the Bengal sellers themselves, and they are heading towards um, the temple. Now, this is a spot where um, families would congregate not just to pray but also it was a um, um, social um, hub a perfect place where families could discuss things exchange information so naturally when there was a fair at the temple a temple fair uh, the bangle sellers and people who sold other wares would automatically converge towards the temples because they could be quite sure of their customers there. And the bangle sellers here, um, they shout attractive things about their wares naturally. They want customers. And here you have the seller talking about rainbow tinted circles of light it's a metaphor and uh, the bangles are uh, described as, uh, you know, having different colors. You can just Im imagine the assortment either in a cartload, you know, a cart pushed by the bangle seller or a tokri or basket that he carries on his head and we get the picture and then as he moves towards the temples. He's extolling the beauty of his bangles. And um, it's also, it, they're not only uh, beautiful bangles catching the light of the sun, gleaming, glinting brightly, circles of light, but they're also lustrous tokens, symbols of um, happy, women all right no matter what their age uh, indian women love bangles to this day and um, that's exactly uh, for a uh, for a uh, an indian woman it's a very auspicious thing wearing a bangle and uh, it it radiates her happiness all right it's truly auspicious and uh, it suggests how happy she is in her household or in her own house while she's growing up and then of course as a young bride uh, Sarojini Naidu has taken up different stages in a woman's life uh, that's what makes this poem really special to me. Let's move on to stanza two. I'll read it as I go along. Some are meet for a maiden's wrist, silver and blue as the mountain mist, 
Some are flushed like buds that dream on the tranquil brow of a woodland stream. Some are aglow with a bloom that cleaves to the limpid glory of newborn leaves. All right, now the bangle seller is talking about bangles which are really suitable for young maidens. And the colors he talks about are uh, blue, white, and then of course, light pink. And finally, a more mature uh, version of pink. And um, if, you, uh, if you think about it, really, silver and blue are very, very, um, you know, uh, virginal colors. They suggest freshness, purity, ethereal beauty. And they also... Um, show the transience of youth because mist doesn't stay too long. It's really ephemeral. It vanishes in no time. And then he talks about the next evolving stage of a maiden uh, where he feels that she would go for bangles uh, that, uh, you know, that blush like buds and these colors are apparently um, suggested for her because she is dreaming, fantasizing about her future and blushing over it. It's so, so lovely. And then, of course, he moves on to a more mature bloom, which really doesn't want to leave the portals of uh, her home. She clings to clusters of new leaves and this shows her uh, her sudden reluctance to leave the familiar life she knows. So that's how um, the bangle seller has chosen colors for a young maiden, showing her purity, her innocence, her freshness. And let me move on to stanza three, which is utterly fascinating. Some are like fields of sunlit corn, meet for a bride on her bridal morn. Some like the flame of her marriage fire, or rich with the hue of her heart's desire, like her bridal laughter and bridal tear. Oh my, now the bangle seller has moved on to a bride. And it's uh, amazing the colors he has uh, chosen for her. It's so symbolic. The cornlet, uh, the sunlit corn, which is suggestive of turmeric yellow, the sunlit corn. And uh, this is very, this color is very suggestive of fertility, especially when you line it up with fields, right? And this shows that uh, the, the person in concern, the woman in concern has matured enough and is physiologically ready for childbearing. And then, and so she's ready for marriage. And then he moves on to the, to the flame-colored uh, bangles, orange, suggesting love, passion. And, you know, you, you can... Uh, evoke in mind a picture of the bride and her groom going round the sacred fire taking vows. It's absolutely beautiful. And finally, he suggests, you know, maroon and red. These colors are the colors of the heart, colors of passion. And it shows that the bride is ready for love and ready to give all her, um, uh, you know, all her qualities, all her skills, everything to nurture her new home. And she would do it by being faithful to her husband. It's fantastic. I really love the way um, Naidu has, uh, you know, created these um, images 
which also suggest you know the uh, uh, the various stages in a woman's life symbolized by color and of course we have the final stage here and uh, let me read the stanza for you some are purple and gold flecked gray for she who has journeyed through life midway whose hands have cherished whose love has blessed and cradled fair sons on a faithful breast and serves her household in fruitful pride and worships the gods at her husband's side how fantastic the woman is now uh, um, evolved from the time she was a maiden to the time when she are, uh, when she becomes the matriarch of her household she is a faithful mother she has brought up sons you know whom and daughters whom she can be very very proud of because now they are useful citizens of an indian society and she's very proud of that she remembers the time she has nursed them guided them and brought them up to be wonderful citizens of india and such a person would go for which your colors like purple and gold flecked gray amazing choice to show her maturity and what's more she's so faithful uh she's the central figure in her household truly the matriarch and um, she stands by her husband through thick and thin she's ever so loyal to him and she stands by him when he prays and through all times she shows her total allegiance to him that is an indian woman for her the family is the nucleus and that's how she believes in life i am absolutely blown away by the ways sarojini naidu has used color in this poem to symbolize the various stages of indian womanhood thank you and if you like it do subscribe to my channel and i'll meet you again bye